Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have a celebratory cigar ish. Yeah. Because um, I'm kind of in the mood to celebrate. And since I had to review something and I had to celebrate something, I might as well smoke something worth of celebration. Anyway, the cigar is called God of Fire KKP Spatial Reserve 2020. Uh, Pyramid 58. Now, I don't know why it's 2020 because every picture I went online for is like 2019, 2022. I don't know. But this one is 2020. Does that make any difference? Probably not. Okay. The cigar is uh, five and a quarter by 58. According to the picture, that's the same one. So, um... There is not much to talk about the cigar in terms of data-wise, right? Because he came in a lacquered box, which I don't have. And Eric does. <laughs> Eric sent me the cigar. Eric, uh, smoke light if you have one, send me the cigar. So he bought a box at MSRP is three, uh, $539.50. 10 cigars per humidor. All right, so we're taking a look at this cigar really closely. This is... A pyramid shape, five and a quarter by 58. Of, and this is a Dominican Puro. If you don't know what that is, is everything's pure, uh, is, is all from Dominican. Dominican wrapper, Dominican uh, binder, and Dominican filler. I mean, that's that's their way of doing things. Like, they won't tell you anything other than that. Okay? And so, we already talked about this. Uh, MSRP, $539.50. dollars uh, which comes to $53.95, $54 a cigar, right? Now, the cigar itself looks pretty good. It's shiny. It's actually not mad. It's very smooth. Uh, it's a little bit visible vein, but not too bad. The band is pretty badass. The band is pretty bad. You know, I've been paying more attention to the bands because we've been making the, the In the Shadows uh, cigar band. And uh, you now we'll pay a little bit more attention to that kind of stuff. And when I see a really sexy band, I see a really sexy band. Anyway, it says KKP Special Reserve 2020. Uh, the KKP that they were talking about is actually the founder of the place, I believe. I don't even know his name. I just know like Kaiser something. Something, something, something. Something. And, uh, somebody told me a while back, so... It was released 2020 to celebrate the 15th anniversary of God of Fire. Okay. But what is the name? What what was KKP? Like I, I swear somebody, you know, I'm gonna smoke it and I'm gonna find out in a minute. So anyway, let's get right into it, smoking it, because I think I'm procrastinating. I am you know delaying the, the inevitable and I'll smoke a good cigar. But I, you know, uh, we took another step forward uh with uh the in the shadow cigar project so um i'm kind of happy so i'm gonna i'm gonna really enjoy this really enjoy this today all right very very sweet cedar smell all right sweet cedar smell it is sweet cedar mm -hmm. smell yeah it does smell pretty good Oh no. The dry is bad. The dry is bad. That means I'm going to cut a little bit more.
Yeah, that big ass stem right there. I think I can manage. Maybe. I know where the stem is. I'm tempted to pull it out from this side. Very tempted. I know it's this one. You can see it all the way down. Uh, like that. See that? This. Wee. That. That's the one. Yep. I can manage. Sweet, sweet cedar. A little pepper, a little bit leathery. Ah, that would do it. You can, you can see me debating because I don't want to ruin the cigar. You can see me debating, but I wanted to get all the flavor too. I don't want to. I don't want to mess the thing. Okay. Even my lighter is like, you sure? It's like, I don't know. Maybe. All right, the smoke smells pretty good. You can tell where it didn't light. You see that, that part? Turn over. See that line? Ooh -wee. Yeah, that's the part that didn't light. That's the part that didn't light. I can't get it to life. That's the stem right there. I won't burn. Still won't burn. Come on. All right. Uh, 54 dollars a cigar with the stem. Mm, I might be able to get it out. I might want this soften out a little bit. Right now, baking spice. Cedar wood. Mineral. Maybe a little bit barnyard. Pepper. That's pretty much it. The draw is funky because I'm drawing it. I know the top portion has no draw whatsoever. Zero draw on top. So I'm like picking on it. Yep. Yeah. A little bit of sweetness of some sort. Between a caramel and a honey, but not really. Because that pepper just washes off. Alright, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. Alright, just when I say I'll be right back, I was like, you know what? I can't smoke this. I need to pull it out. And I did. This is what I pulled out. A Excalibur, huh? Ah! Yeah, the whole length of this cigar. That's what's in there. Couldn't, you know? Uh, I'll show you where that line was. Right here. All right. Now you can see I can actually press this in now. See that? Because that's what's pushing against it the whole time. So now there's a space. Now I just have to slowly massage it, get into place. I should get a good draw. Be right back. All right. So peppery, deep woodsiness with a little bit of hints of sweetness. I don't know. I would like. I, I want to say it's like a molasses sweetness, but I can't tell how much that was.
Yeah, the, it's hard to tell what that sweetness was because the pepper just comes in and burn everything out of it. Everything out of it. So it's kind of peppery. It's woodsy. It's peppery and sweet. But the sweet is hard to tell because as soon as the sweet comes in, the pepper just burns it off. So that's what I got right now. Now, I did not like the construction of the cigar because obviously you guys saw me pull one of these out. Once I pull these out, whatever that was around here kind of got a knot. And I caused the, the cigar to kind of eh, expand a little bit and hide hard, like really hard draw. I had to kind of poke a hole so that there is a like a room to, to breathe. So yeah, that this one just have a bad construction. And but the flavor is okay. Um it hasn't got to a point where I go, wow, that's a that's a fifty dollars a god. No, it's just um, it's very normal right now. It's just very peppery, woodsy cigar. Uh, somewhat enjoyable, somewhat. Definitely at this point not a fifty dollars cigar, but we'll continue and see if it gets there. So we'll be right back. Okay, so two third, but look at this. Ready? Yep. Construction. Not very good. But taste, it's actually okay. It's got, okay, it's woodsy, it's peppery, uh, it's sweetness, and then ends with some sort of minerality. Like mineral, yeah. That's what I taste. Um, it's not bad, but it's not good. Like it's like it's not like it's not like that. It's not like when you're smoking at any other fifty dollars cigar, you're like, whoa. This is just um, I would say a high grade tobacco, nicely aged, boring cigar. High grade tobacco, nicely aged, consistent cigar. That's what I got out of it. Uh, none of the flavor was extraordinary, but is somewhat refined in the way it was delivered. But that pepper just kills it. Kills it. And once in a while, you get uh, some sort of, I don't know if you want to call that floral or grain. It's in between the two uh, and the retro hill. It's kind of nice, but you only get it once in a while. So. It's for sure not $54 a guard. I'm struggling with two digits. But. Right now, I'm thinking somewhere below 20. Below 20, all right? It's kind of sad. And I think it's because this particular cigar is just not a good one. I'm talking about this one I'm smoking. Bad construction. It's missing something. I don't know. It's it's just... It's, it's got flavor. It's smokable. It's got a sweetness. Literally right after you puffed it too. And then it starts to work towards that mineral taste. It could be a good cigar, but it's below 20 right now. <clears throat> Let's look at the band, though. The KKP Special Reserve 2020. There you go. I like this band. It's precise, easy. Not too bad. This one, I think I prefer this band over their standard band. This band just looks nice looks nice right it just it has that feel to it red and gold and black great combination i like the shade that kind of shades off the the the, the main logo is the red it really gives that feeling really gets that mm, god of fire yeah feel to it so yeah <clears throat> i have to and it comes with a really nice box i don't have that box but i seen the box i know the quality of that box I touched the box. I just didn't buy it. Right? Um, but 
it only helps a little bit. That's why it's under 20. If not, it's like under 15, I think, in my in my opinion. If I if I take away the, all these, this is just a ban, a banless cigar, it'll be below 15. But right now it's below 20. So hopefully last third gives me a little bit of room to say this cigar is good because right now inside this cigar is standard. And for God of Fire, that's pretty bad of a comment, right? So let's um let's try the last third. And see if that gets me anywhere because I'm a little bit disappointed. I feel like I need to do another review just for the heck of it. Like when I say another review, review different cigar. <laughs> so finish last there. We'll be right back. Okay, done. But it still kind of exploded. So now I gotta give you a range here. The last there, you get a little bit more floral so it's a slightly nicer tone but not that much nice so i'm gonna set my current cigar range to seventeen eighteen dollar range seventeen eighteen okay if the cigar did not have the construction issue, I will say it's going to be like $21, $22 range. With the box, if you bought the, bought the entire box, I will say it's probably the $25 range. $25 to all right, maybe $28 range. But for what I got, 17 is the highest I can get. I, I did not see what's the big deal about the cigar. It tastes good, fine. Has good note, fine. But it's like medium plus a full strength. So that's very little amount of notes for that much strength. So if you like strength, yeah, you might like this. If you don't like strength, you'll be like, uh, I'm not getting a lot for this strength. I don't know. And that's where I am right now. Construction issue, leave a cracking. Um, explode a little bit. Flavor with light. Uh, string with too high. With that, all that add together, I can only give about 17. Now, if this construction issue is not there, okay, I'll we'll give you 19, 20 bucks. Uh, you know, be, it, given that it should have more flavor because based on the last third, it could have have that flavor in the beginning. If you buy the box. Now you got the collection box. Now you got to pay a little bit more. 25, 20 something. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't see a big hype about this. I don't see why this is special other than the fact that it was released as a special. But $50 is nowhere close. Nowhere close. So I don't even know why other than the fact that it's collectible and they only release so much. The range is... I don't, I don't see that range. I don't see it. Right, so 20 something dollar range, brand new, all boxed. Okay, I can see that. But for what I got, not not really. In fact, after this cigar, it makes me want to go smoke another cigar that's more flavorful. Which is too bad, you know, for this cigar, I thought I was going to enjoy a lot more. I was, well, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it, but then it gives me a treat. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So... And you're gonna go, oh Tony, if this if you left this in there, it would have been fine. No, because this thing isn't gonna burn. So that entire section isn't gonna burn at all. Right? There's barely any leaf on this thing. There's okay, if I take the leaf off, there's barely any leaf on this thing. Right? So there's there's not a lot to this. But this thing it ruined it. Ruined it. They could have just peel this up before they, they roll it, but nope. Ruined it. Yeah, that's all the leaf I can peel off of it. This thing, how thick it is. No joke. No joke. So, unfortunately, that's the way it is. I don't know. Maybe this deserves a re revisit, but if I was a first timer, like, oh, God of Fire, let's go. Smoke that up, like, I would never buy this again. So, yeah. If you collect this, keep it in the collection. <laughs> yeah.
if you don't smoke it, you're not going to be disappointed, right? So you know, it's one of those things. Anyways, that will be it for this review. Big thanks to Eric uh, Smoke One if you had one for providing the cigar because this is one cigar that I would never buy even if uh, I knew the, ch uh, the price was cheaper. God of Fire is not a cigar that I usually buy. I usually don't buy that. So, you know, even if I see that limited edition, I wouldn't buy it, right? Uh, but for those people who is collecting it, you know, watch out for that price because sometimes not every cigar is worth the collection unless you really don't care. Yeah, like Eric, he's sorry he's he buy it, you know, but it's the same way. And for me, Davidoff, something good come out, I just buy it. I, I know, and I'll deal with it afterward. Doesn't mean it's worth the money, but here's the thing, right? If you got an entire box of cigar and you never smoke it, here's your money. Right? If you never smoke it, you never disappoint it. And that value is what you pay for. But for this, since I smoked it, well, sorry. That's the that's the price. That's the price range. Okay? That will be it for this uh, particular review. I will see you guys in the next one. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, bitch at me about this because I didn't give a good score or price. All that stuff. Okay? If you like uh, to watch early access to, to some of the content. Make sure to join the membership. Someday we have a podcast. Make sure to listen to that. It's also in the channel. So long as you subscribe to the channel, you should see it. Uh, it's also on podcast. If you, uh, um, uh, it, um, Spotify, I mean. Uh, if you like to listen on Spotify, it's there. it's there. In fact, that's a week early. So the uh, episodes are week early on, the, on the Spotify. Uh, if you're already a member, you get to <clears throat> listen to the same day just a little bit later because it takes time to render. All right. Uh, if you want to support this channel, make sure to get the swag. We got the swag somewhere down below and all that stuff. Okay. I'll well, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.